What's going on everybody? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the Brevard Max by r &L. We're up here in Lancaster, South Carolina at Carolina Country Homes. So let me turn you around and I'm gonna tell you all about this home. So the Brevard Max is a four bedroom, two bath, 2,128 square foot modular home. And wait until y'all see the inside. It has some surprises for you. But before we get into all of that, thank you for clicking on the channel, watching the videos. I appreciate it so much. I enjoy coming out here and checking out all this stuff with you guys. And it's just like, you know, I feel like y'all are my friends kind of telling me what you think, what you like, what you don't like. And I just get to, it's like our thing, you know, we get to share that together. It's like you're on the road with me. And we are down here in South Carolina, like I said, and came down here, dropped the, dropped the boys off, spending some time with the grandparents. So yeah. Now you got a back door right here which goes to your utility room. And then you have this sliding glass door right here which comes right out behind your dining room table. Now we are at Carolina Country Home and they have, I think there was like eight models or so. Some of these are getting ready. They're already sold. So they'll be getting out of here. But if you like this type of home, you can still reach out to them. I'll leave the link for them down in the description below. Or r &L, you know, they are in several different places. We've seen some up in Pennsylvania too. So um, you can always find a dealer that will help you get exactly what you want. Hello, beautiful. All right. So when you first walk into this home, you do have a slight foyer, you have your front door, and then you have a little coat closet. Then you have some vinyl plank floor right here. Now there are other videos that I have shown off all the different types of flooring, backsplashes, just so many different things. So while we're here doing all these homes, please make sure you check out those videos as well. That way you can have an idea as far as what you want to put in your home if this happens to be the one for you. So as you're seeing all this stuff, just do keep in mind that you can upgrade it if you so choose. But man, this one is, it is a beautiful home. So this is your living space right here, which opens up, it's kind of divided slightly. Uh, you got these pillars on all sides. So you have your dining room over here. We'll check that out and then we'll go ahead and hop into the kitchen. And then you have that beautiful accent wall. It kind of really makes a statement right behind your dining room table, I think. And then of course, ooh, the chandelier. What if that chandelier was right here? <laughs> Hey, don't forget, Jen and I are doing a giveaway this month. You can find the information for that down in the description below. It's going to be $250 Airbnb gift card. So share it with a friend that you would like to go on a little trip with. That way you have two opportunities to win, right? And then you do have these built-ins, just kind of like little mini walls on either side. Put some type of decoration on it. You have one on either side. I don't know. Did we see anything over here? Okay, so it just has the matching ship lap uh, that that back wall has. And then you have this beam right here, which is pretty much just right there where the marriage line is. And then coming into your kitchen, we're going to go ahead and start over here by the refrigerator. Man. Now, y'all should have seen that refrigerator in the last one. Humongous. Huge. Put that thing in here. <laughs> then the cabinets, they go all the way up to the ceiling, all the way around. And then you have your stove with a range hood. And then you got some tile backsplash that goes all the way around the counter space. Put 
then your sink. This must be the thing. All these removable spigot heads from the sink. I need to get with the times. I need one. It just makes it look a little simpler, a little cleaner than having like the, the other spigot head on your sink. Got the soft closed drawers in this one. Coming into your island. It's like, let's see if we can open this. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're an idiot, Tim. Y'all, for real. I was looking at this thing, I was like, there's no knobs on it. This must be a trash can, it pulls out. <laughs> Wrong. But the island has a whole bunch of space on it too. I didn't see a microwave. So you're gonna have to put your microwave on the counter in this one. But I think some people prefer that anyway. And then you got some space for a couple benches. Check out these benches. It's like the wood core. I guess that's what you would call it, I don't know. It's got all the rings from the trees, pretty neat. Then you got your sliding glass door going out the back and then space for a little dining area. And then what could be behind this door? It's your utility room. And that AC, we are in South Carolina, man. It is, it's working today. So you got another back door right here. And then these are nifty. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, cool. Yo, it's a secret passage. No way. I didn't. Sometimes I, I walked in here, I turned on all the lights, right? I saw this thing, but I was like, no, it's just a, <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. This, this home just got way better. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Washer dryer. All right, get right, Tim. Get, get right. <laughs> Washer dryer, hookups. The furnace, it's a, it's a cooking. <laughs> oh, I can't get over that. Coolest home ever just because of that. I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> so I'm tickled now. Tickle, tickle, tickle. All right, coming down the, <laughs> the hallway. Whew, I got to settle down. Coming to your second bathroom. Now back this side of the house is where all of the uh, other bedrooms are. There are three back here, and then this is the bathroom. You got a shower tub combo. And your toilet. All right, and then all three of the bedrooms right here, you have like this little communal uh, hallway thing that they are all off of. And these rooms, they're really nice size. And then into the closet. We'll go across the hall and hit up the other one. See, now this is a weird area of the country, I think. Um, we've been seeing a lot of the registers on the floor up in like Pennsylvania and Delaware and stuff like that because it gets colder. And because of y'all, I've learned that, well, I mean, I already knew heat rises, but at the same time, you know, 
I learned that's why they're on the floor. But here in South Carolina, I think in the wintertime, while it doesn't get super cold, it might still get a little chilly. So then they have the registers in the ceiling for the heat too, you know what I mean? Where in like a Texas, man, y'all are, with the exception of y'all's little blizzard y'all just had, it's always hot down there, I think. All right, going back across the, the house into the master suite. Man, oh man, now you can sneak out of the house and nobody will know because you got a back door back there. You got a, a hidden walkway through your closet, into the mud room, out the back door. Nobody knows where you went. Uh, that's so cool. It's not that cool, Tim. Shush. I don't care. It's cool. All right, coming into it. Now, even if that's just, that can't be just for show. That's, I don't know. I'm dumbfounded. I'm confused. All right, but we are into the master closet, so this is the other side of it, which we've already shown, but kind of get a reference point it even has the soft clothes so you can escape silently and then into your master bathroom double vanity got your accent lights up above your mirror you have a standalone shower humongous garden tub with this cool like brick brick finish look I like that a lot I think that looks really neat and then of course you have your shower or your mirror behind the tub I don't know I, I wouldn't want that <laughs> anyway all right and then you got your toilet man oh man well what'd you think did you like it? If you did, please make sure you hit the like button. If you want to help support the channel as always, please go pick yourself up some Tour Crew merch and become part of the Tour Crew. Or you can actually become part of the Tour Crew by hitting the little join button right next to the subscribe button and getting yourself access to behind the scenes, floor plans. Maybe I'll go do a little something in that little Heidi passage thing. I don't know. And neither will you if you're not a member. So make sure you do that. As far as the price goes, you can find that scrolling up above the top of me right about now. Now, just keep in mind that this price can vary depending on where you're going to be moving it to and all the upgrades that you get in your home, just a whole bunch of different things. As always, guys, I really enjoyed spending some time with you. Appreciate you being here. My name's Timothy. I'll see you in the next one.